you had had a debate with your college professor yeah, who became your partner. Yeah, business school professor. Okay, yeah, and yeah. it started out as a debate that we've all had between Coke and Pepsi, well, right? Well, it was more about the whole, looking at the whole industry and what he asked, well, Coke and Pepsi are such huge companies. They have thousands of products they sell in different varieties and packages. Are there any, is there any opportunity in the beverage world? Is there anything missing? And that's where, you know, my hand shot up and said, yeah, there's all these sweet drinks. There's all these watery drinks, but there's nothing with enough flavor to taste good and where you don't have to sort of purse your lips because it's so sweet. And what, what was the one thing, though, that got you to say, let's, let's do it, let's go for this? Because a lot yeah. of people will go to the store and not yeah. find something they like. Well, and not think I had an entrepreneurial edge. I was ready to do something. And I'd had other ideas that I, some of which, you know, had even gotten investors interested in funding. I won a business plan competition for a biotechnology company in business school. And, and um, but it, I, I knew as much as it was a good business idea, it wasn't something I was excited about. And so um, I, I definitely had never sort of envision myself being a beverage entrepreneur but when I sort of put together that entrepreneurial itch the missing opportunity on the beverage shelf and I'm like well I could do this and um, you know sometimes what you don't know is scary sometimes what you don't know helps you and in this case I think because I I had no existing assumptions about how to make a beverage and it was probably an asset to bring and you had some missteps when you oh, tried well, to brew and missteps. Well, the first thing we said is, I mean, the very first one was, well, how come we're going to use real tea leaves? Most of the bottled tea out there is, is like tang. You know, you add, you add powder you, to hot water, you stir it, and you call that tea. Um, and, you know, <laughs> there aren't, um, you know, tea, tea, grow, tea is leaves that grow on bushes. And we said, well, let's take the leaves from the bushes, dry them out, put that in water, and, and then put that in a bottle. And um, we said, why, doesn't, why aren't other people doing that? We found out there were some pretty good reasons. It's cost, very, <laughs> probably. Cost, it, but it's hard to do. You have to filter out the leaves. And, uh, you know, it, it, it was a very complicated, costly process with a lot of missteps along the way. Our first bottles used to have about an inch of just tea leaf sediment on the bottom. And, and we've, you know, improved our filtration since then. But, uh, you know, th that was one of the challenges. And we had, I mean, the other challenges were... Everyone else, most everyone else uses high fructose corn syrup as the sweetener. And it's real easy. You just bring up a truck, you pump a hose into a tank, and that's your sweetener. And we said, no, we're going to use organic honey or organic cane sugar. And so we would, um, you know, open up these big bags and pour that in and dilute it. And, it, you know, it did. It cost more. It took more time. Um, but like I say, some, you know, at the end of the day, we came up with a product that was real tea, that tasted like tea. Um, that wasn't super sweet and had the real health properties of tea. So it was a lot of extra steps. And, and you know, had I known, I probably <laughs> um, might have done it, you know, differently. But without those assumptions, you know, I think we ended up with a product that is very different from what else is out there.